Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we'll be playing through another wonderful episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Take a second before we begin to hit the like button as I give a gigantic shout out to our patron of the day. Today's patron of the day is, drum roll please, Craig. Craig, thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. It is awesome having you as a member of the community. You are so friendly in the Discord and that means so much to me. Really, really, really appreciate you and your support. Patron support helps me pay for an editor, which helps me make more videos and get content out faster. So thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. And now everyone, let's get onto the gameplay video. Enjoy. Up the stairs. 27. We're almost there. Oh, he's getting even slower. Hey! Just a few floors behind you. <laughs> oh? You're sounding better. I think I've got like a stair climber's high. I think that's a real I'm thing? A stair climber's it. high? Oh, we're catching up to Barrett. About time. Oh, yeah, taking the inside corner. Are Sorry. we taking a break here? I was. Oh, she but took a break. I'm we don't get a break. What are we waiting for? Let's roll. Yep, you gotta let your height carry you up these stairs, Barrett. You really are doing better. <laughs> We, we gotta keep moving. <laughs> to keep moving. It's getting slower and slower. This wonky music is getting worse and worse. Hard to argue with that. Let's go. Forty. Level 40! Oh, the music is getting weirder. But tell me, these stairs, all these stairs, ever gonna end? I mean, eventually. Stairs are talking. Well, duh. I mean, duh. I was joking. That's enough from both of you. What? Tifa's mad again. She's the keeper. She's the keeper of the peace. Wait, look, it even, look at the bottom. It even has their stair counter, like where they're at. Oh no, we're so behind. I wish I could sprint, but I can't. How did Barrett even get ahead of me? Give me a suicide last day. At least, at least, at least that'd have an end. Let's shut up. Oh, even Cloud is getting winded now. I wonder if all this walking like in this circle would also make you a little bit dizzy. 50th floor! Only nine more! Yep. And you're in no state to fight anyway. So, what should I do? <laughs> Stop talking. They already told you that. Focus on your breathing. Here we go. An even more dramatic musical shift. And even slower. Like, it's, at a certain point, do you think it would be, like, less energy and less painful to, like, crawl up the stairs? At a certain point? I'm so glad I can experience this through a video game character and not through myself. This sucks! I wanna go back! Can't go back. 
As Aerith says, go gotta go forward, just not forward. back. I wonder if walking backward up the stairs would activate a different muscle group. Do you think that would help? She made it! This is our last one. So much trouble. Baron sings songs like I do. You just gotta make up a song on the spot sometimes. We did it! Cloud, slow down. Cloud, slow down. What? <laughs> I stopped. I mean, Barrett does have a lot of mass to get up those stairs. The real challenge starts now. Okay. Wow. Typical cloud. Typical cloud. Does difficult thing. Gets even harder from here. 70, 80, 90, 100%, 110. Mako super saturation confirmed. <gasps> there she is. <laughs> oh, this was such an epic Engaging scene material the cooling to reduce temperature. Director, you have a meeting shortly. Stop. Ooh, black Your nails is impeccably atrocious. Uh, uh. <laughs> Mako density and materia integrity are both holding steady. Registering mass increase in core materia. Uh oh, that doesn't look safe. Registered. Yeah, that looks dangerous. <laughs> We're leaving. Materia growth accelerating, outpacing models, registering crystallization within the reserve tanks. The reaction is out of control. Yeah, you should probably run to too. Quickly. Clean up the mess, would oh, you? No, they're gonna die. He has to crawl. So this is the Skyview Hall. Oh my this gosh! This place costs a fortune and then so. Let's look for reception. That is terrible. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. We. What? There's a person here. Do you know who we are? Wife and daughter be safe. Kinda a little bit. Looks like Keanu Reeves is here. Anywho, uh, wrong game. Let's see. Hey, check it out. Come take a look, Cloud. Damn fools. Hmm? Ones who come here at night to take in the view. So pretty and marvelous and beautiful. But every little light burning bright runs off her blood. And bit by bit they bleed her, never stopping to think how it'll end for them. <sighs> yeah. Terrible but beautiful all the same. I feel like Tifa is the only one in this group of three that like knows how to enjoy things. Like every time they see something beautiful, Barrett's like, it's not beautiful, it's devastating. And Cloud is like, there are harder things ahead. Don't even stop to enjoy this moment. But Tifa is like the only like accurately 
mentally balanced person <laughs> who's like, ah, yes, things are hard. Hard things can be hard, but also beautiful things can just be beautiful. <laughs> Man, Tifa has got to just have such, uh, the burden on her is so high. I need a minute or two of shut up. I just want to take one of these brochures. Ah, uh, if only we had taken those elevators. But, you know, elevators are for quitters, so. What are they even after? I could tell you a little something about what Avalanche is after, but. Um, you want to talk about innocent people? Hmm. Interesting. What are like, what's, oh, these are restrooms. I'm like, what's in those doors? They look like vaults. They're just restrooms. Okay, it's a key card situation, but I definitely want to continue to look around. Oh, what do we have here? You must be here for our grand tour. Visitors have access to floors 60, 61, 62, as well as floor 63. You will proceed in that order. By the exit of each floor, you will find a device that will allow you to update the key card in your possession, thereby allowing you to access the next floor. Classic. And now begins your grand tour. Please enjoy the Shinra experience. Wouldn't it be Why, nice if we could just go head. straight to 63? I don't know about you, but this is kind of weird. You think everything's going too well? Yeah, I do. Think this is a trap? Ha! <laughs> If it is, then bring it on. Let's get this party started. Yeah, I think it's pretty interesting that you can't just go straight to level 63. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that we got everything we needed. So, what's through these areas? This is all kind of like a rotating... Okay. It's a roundabout. Man. Why we gotta get all these damn key cards just to get anywhere? This is Shinra HQ. The how did you expect? Says the former company man himself. Guess you'd know about all the rules, regulations, and red tape. Until it's like coming home. Stopped, huh? It's only gonna get worse. Gosh, Barry is so mean sometimes. Yeah, it's just when I think about what all those poor people must be going through. Think you'll be before we put a new plate on. It's kind of crazy to me that they gave every single ambient body a voice line. That's a massive task for the record. And it's just kind of amazing to me that they really went there and put in that effort. I love it. Ooh. I'm not saying I know that much. Do you know that much? Is that something you know? God damn avalanche! They all deserve to die! People don't know anything. Every people think they know things, and they don't. They don't. Wu-Tai's pulling their strings, you'll see. Alright, so what is this little roundy thing? An elevator? Mm-hmm. Okay, so then I'm guessing. Mm hmm. I guess I can't go up the down escalator, can I? Yes, every reactor, every pillar. Like I said, a full inspection. There's no telling what kind of damage there might be. If you see anything, anything out of the ordinary, I want to know. <sighs> Sorry to bother you, sir. No, it's fine. I've brought the damage assessment for Sector 7 you requested. Sir, perhaps <clears throat> you should try and get some sleep. No, not yet. I need to finish preparing my draft of the reconstruction plan before tonight's board meeting. 
Yet another well-balanced female. Whatever they might have had. Destroying an entire sector is... It's beyond the pale. Director. That's a saying. Beyond the pale. I would strongly advise you not to say such things outside of this room. <sighs> Don't I know it. Even he's being watched. By a bald mustache guy. Indeed. Memorial. Museum. Is that all we're gonna get to do here? More of these little pods. What a world. Why do we even bother, you know? Listen, this guy is living in 2020. He gets it. Let's go look at this museum. I am a tourist. I would like to see this museum. Welcome to the Shinra Building, our humble home. Oh, hell no! Here in the Memorial Museum, you can learn all about our president, as well as the various divisions that make up the company. And of course, the city of Midgar and the miracle of Mako Energy. Whatever takes your fancy, you're sure to learn something new. Yeah, yeah, shut up! You know, you'd think this is like a memorial to all the lives lost, uh, but no. It's distinctly not that kind of memorial. Ah, yes, the president's cigars. Display worthy, for sure. I think I just threw up a little. Same Man Tifa. thinks very highly of himself. Look at him, it's like a 007 poster. Something, something, something to Shinra Electric Power Company. But I don't know what the rest says. It's interesting. Okay. Ah, there's Bald Mustache Man! Okay. Didn't need that little connection there. What is this? Some kind of like auditorium movie viewing room. I'm ready to watch my movie. I'm ready to see my movie! Alright. Hey everybody! How's the grand tour? Surprise! You enjoying yourselves? Wasn't it fun to learn about Shinra and our esteemed president? And to get a peek at the president's mementos? That was super cool! Was it? Is that all? This is all our like main villains here. Pizza! I recognize that street. Um. Now, moving along. The next exhibit will teach you about the important work we do here by giving you a closer look at each of our divisions. I hope you're ready to be amazed because you simply won't believe all the exciting adventures we have here. Interesting. So did it kind of insinuate that each of those characters is the owner of a These division? so familiar. Because we've destroyed a bunch of them already. And that each division has a symbol that all makes up the Shinra Electric Power Company logo. That's kind of cool. But I wasn't finished in this room, because I feel like there was a bunch that I missed. Let's see. Yeah, okay. This is... Something? Something. Good talk. And this is... Ah, yes. The tools. From Baby President. And... A plaque of President's school? I don't know. 
Ultimately, we didn't miss much. But let oh, where's the door? Where's the door? Okay, so here we got some Scarlet and Advanced Weaponry. That seems to fit her. The Advanced Weaponry exhibit is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience. Rude. Space and Aeronautics. Why is he Why is he so short? That he literally even his hologram is just like only knee it's cut off below the knees. What? 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 Uh, read this. This paper right here. Give me a moment. Welcome to the Shinra building. The Space and Aeronautics Division has taken rocket systems developed for military applications and adapted them to a different purpose. The search for new precious resources in the infinite reaches of space. That being said, since we have plenty of Mako at the present, those plans are currently on hold. Mm-hmm. It's a bit of a shame, really. Listen. Palmer can be whatever height he wants. It's totally fine if he's a short dude. Or a below average height dude. But why did the hologram cut him off at the knees? The hologram isn't as tall as he is. That's the goofy thing. I mean, is Scarlet's knees up? You can't really tell because she's in a dress. It looks like that's her full body, though. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to make sense. It's not equivalent. Wait, that's his knees, too! Something's wrong with his hologram system. Uh, welcome to Shinra headquarters. My duties as director of research and development are, in all likelihood, far beyond your ability to comprehend. Oh, well, I hate him. So there will be no presentation, as it will be a waste of my time and yours. But rest assured, we are making great strides. Albeit not at this particular moment, because I'm filming this rubbish instead. Wow. You're the I real villain I've of this, aren't you? my precious time as it is. Science waits for no one, after all. So, good day. Wait, wait. Did you catch that? Did you catch how exhausting it was to listen to him? He gets a little extra below his knees. The public security exhibit is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience. Okay, some soldiers in their outfits, some motorcycle, and a hella trooper. Nemesis. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. I don't like those. Um, urban planning. Talk to Welcome me. Welcome to the Shinra building. Our mission here at Urban Planning is to supply the residents of Midgar with energy created from Mako. We also take pride in maintaining public infrastructure, the pillars and railways that run all throughout the city. Currently, we are working to construct an intraplate expressway. When this project has been completed, it will provide much easier access to numerous locations all across Midgar. We appreciate your patience and understanding in the meantime. Look at this picture. Like, Midgar is so far from this. So far. This is never going to be Midgar. Sad. Super, super sad. learning about our divisions and the wonderful ideas and solutions that are produced to benefit us all here at shinra we strive to ensure the safety of all residents around the clock mm -hmm. right 
all citizens. Uh-huh. Safety. Sure. It's a nice false dream you got there, Shinra video. Now, moving along, the next exhibit will teach you all about the miracle of Mako energy and our reactors, as well as the city of Midgar itself. So, come on! <laughs> come on! This, this is, is kind of cool, though. Our home, recreated in one ten thousandth scale. As you can see here, the eight Mako reactors form a ring around the center of our city and keep Midgar running day and night. The Mako which flows beneath our feet is a truly limitless resource. At Shinra, we have developed technologies to extract it and transform it into the fuel and electricity that powers everything we do. Thanks to the miracle of Mako energy, our lives are richer and better than ever before. Mako keeps our lights on at night and made Midgar into the city that never sleeps. A triumph of technology and testament to man's potential. Nothing but a bunch of lies. I do wonder though that Mako has made people's lives how Barrett knows it's a limit limited it's made resource. People blind. Blind to the cold hard truth. Even I used to buy into their bullshit. Remembering that makes me even madder. Ooh, Barrett backstory sprinkle. Just a sprinkle. Okay. to the Visual Entertainment Hall, where we showcase Shinra's cutting-edge technology. Through an immersive visual and audio experience. Ooh, immersive, eh? Enjoy the show. I just have to watch the show? Please stay and enjoy the show. Please watch the show! Okay, okay. Place is empty. What the hell? Uh oh. <laughs> this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. In the distant past, our planet was home to a people we call the Ancients. Many millennia before we discovered Mako, these precursors were already pioneering its use. Somehow they learned of the great reservoir of energy pulsing beneath their feet. And once they had, the Ancients developed the means to harness this bountiful energy and bend it to their will. The fruits of their labors have survived to this very day in the form of certain kinds of materia. Their scripture too has endured. We who are born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. Alas, the ancients themselves are long gone. 2,000 years ago, a meteor 
brought an end to their civilization. <laughs> but before their fiery end, did the ancients find their promised land? Even now, we have only to wonder. Times have changed, and the Shinra Electric Power Company is committed to changing and evolving with them. Like the ancients, we've harnessed the power of Mako. Are they out there watching us, waiting for us to join them in some blessed corner of the world? A green inverted land where boundless Mako energy will provide for our every need. Shinra is working for you to fulfill the hope of the ancients and lead us to that promised land. We shall not rest until our dream is realized. So intense. Oh. No. Sephiroth. Oh, that dear. was exceptionally oh, beautiful. Of my refined taste running out of butter. <laughs> Short of its proper accompaniment, this tea might as well be boiled pond water. <laughs> butter in your tea? No! <gasps> no, it, it couldn't possibly have been. I'm sorry, I missed that because puke. I was like upset about butter and but tea. The content too. Ought to come with a warning. That ain't for kids. That wasn't just a movie. It's disturbing. That huge meteor. What was that about? Like I said, nothing you should show a kid. So that cutscene was a lot. But for starters, it was so exceptionally graphically beautiful. Like, it's like candy for your eyes. I wanted so much more. And that whole like, you know, into the past of like what it was like when the ancients, you know, ran things. That was so beautiful too. Like, I want that video game. Like, I want to live in that world. Like, I want a VR of like that game. Like, I just want to live in it. Oh, it was so pretty, so beautiful. Um, and then you got a shot of all of the summons, um, which I only know what I know of the lore of those summons from like Final Fantasy XIV, which is like really specific to fourteen. And then, you know, I know a little bit from Final Fantasy XV, but like it's different. Um, so it was really cool to see them included in kind of this like lore backstory kind of thing. But it also does make you wonder you know, what elements of the world building are tainted because this is like Shinra's retelling of this backstory. Interesting. And what the heck, butter and tea don't. No, it does not belong. Good talk. Moving on. Press triangle. Congratulations. You can call yourself a proud Shinra expert. Your mission is to go out and tell everyone about the wonders of Shinra. Next, you'll be visiting the repository for Shinra's expertise and know-how. 
Please make your way to the 62nd floor, the corporate archive. What the? Hello. Oh, kind of looks Greetings like Colonel and Sanders Avalanche, a little bit. I presume. My name is Hart, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Hmm? I've come to escort you to Mayor Domino, per his request. The mayor of Midgar? The empty soup that's just a mouthpiece for Shinra? Yes. The mayor of our dear Midgar. The most magnificent city ever built, that Mayor Domino. The Visual Entertainment Hall has been experiencing technical difficulties of late, and he suspected that these difficulties might impede your progress. So what does the mayor want with us? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him that yourself. <sighs> Guess we're supposed to follow. There's so many characters in this game. <sighs> You think you know all of them, and then... New character. <sighs> wow, this is a real Beauty and the Beast moment, isn't it? The library! Look at this place. So what? Can you imagine Barrett just like riding the ladder <sighs> off into the distance? Secret door. Sweet! Gosh, I want one of those in my house one day. Just a big secret door. Gigantic. The biggest secret door. It's such a power move to be like, come in. <laughs> Through here. If this is a trap, you're a dead man, you hear? I mean, if it's a successful trap, Barrett, you're a dead man. But if it's not successful, then okay. The mayor is waiting. Yeah, you mentioned that, but you know that I have to take the takes. The mayor is waiting. Oh, please let me explore this cool library! Where do you think you're going? To the takes! I know you hid treasure in here. I'm watching you, Colonel. <sighs> this can't be right. Ah, wonderful. You finally made it. <sighs> I am the mayor of the great metropolis of Mako. Domino, at your service. That's bald <laughs> mustache man. I must say you three haven't exactly been discreet. Yeah, it's not really his specialty. Barrett, he said so. Huh? I wonder who's been cleaning up all your messes. What the hell's going on? Come on, think about it. You've been caught by security several times. Walked in front of every other camera, and scared an accountant half to death. Do you hear the alarm? No? You're welcome. <sighs> hmm. I can only assume your cell wasn't looped in. I am Avalanche's man on the inside. Say what? Huh. Is it really that surprising to you? What? You've seen where they put me. The mayor of the greatest city in the whole wide world tucked away in a secret broom closet in the damned archives. The nerve. Those stupid Shinra pricks thought I'd just shut up and accept their treatment. But they were wrong. Dead wrong. Huh. Well, this ought to make things easier. <laughs> we it need to break into has. Professor Pojo's lab. What? Why? 
You mean you're not here to give President Shinra his comeuppance? Tempting. We're here to save a friend who was taken. But the president's gonna get his too, if I have anything to say about it. Mm. <sighs> well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing. So long as it hurts Shinra. Great. So, I can get you as far as the 64th floor. And then more stairs. Oh, you're telling me that that's the best you can do? That is indeed the best that I can do. But you're the mayor. But you're the mayor? Does this look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian, nothing more. They don't even invite me to their meetings. Sorting records and reports, that's all I do. My hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. No one knows my pain, my daily torment. They've made me a pathetic shell of a man. Uh, uh, okay, they did you wrong like us, but we'll make it right. So just calm down. Deep breaths, man. Deep breaths. Help him out, hmm. Barrett. Let me see that key card of yours. <sighs> Come on, Domino. What can you do for Aerith? Here you are. You can now use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. I thought and he said 64. then what are we supposed to do? You look for a fellow Avalanche collaborator. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. The countersign is... The mayor is the best! Midgar's mayor is nothing less! Uh. Everyone says he's cooler than the rest! Uh. I mean... Just say, Mayor, to the guy. And if he goes, the best, with gusto, then you found your man. That's you pretty great. It? And very clear. And goofy as heck, which I love. <laughs> if you think you've found the collaborator, say, Mayor, and see if he says, the, the best, best. with gusto. With gusto. That part is very important. Any takes in here? Any takes that I can take from this best mayor? No. Okay. Good talk then. And that right there is where we're ending today's episode. Can you believe how far we've come? How fun it has been? Uh, some really, really amazing moments in this episode. Some good backstory, some good lore, some goofiness sprinkled in there. All the things that I love, this game is just amazing. It's just amazing, and I would say that if I wasn't in it, but like, oh my gosh, I'm also in it. Can you believe how cool that is? I... Calm down. It's fine. I'm, I'm fine. It's cool. I'm chill. Um, anyways, so please leave me a comment and let me know. I'm sure the comment section is going to be filled with something just like, The mayor! The best! With gusto! I mean, at least that's what my expectations are now. So please do leave me a comment with gusto! And remember to like the video if you enjoyed it, share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell for Strange Rebel Gaming, this channel right here, so you don't miss the next video. It's going to be fabulous. I can already tell. That's all. I love you all with my whole heart.